Hey YouTube, it's Mike Peng Gangster, and today we're going to talk about how to kill Rykard, the serpent boss, the easy way. <laughs> this is extremely easy. All you need is a mimic spirit of yourself with at least a level 5 of it, okay? What's going to happen throughout the fight is that you're going to be using a weapon that they give you, of course, at the beginning of this fight, that you're going to use. Now your mimic, um, it's going to take him a few seconds for him to get the aggro. So at the beginning of the fight, you have, you're going to have to like at least try to avoid like uh, this particular attack that he does, which is extremely hard to avoid for some reason. Um, but don't worry, once your mimic gets the aggro, uh, for some reason, he is immune to lava or something because he could stand right there in the lava while fighting this boss, and he won't get burned. So you're gonna be giving, you're gonna be getting three shots now. Your mimic is doing the exact same damage you are because you're both using this special weapon that they're giving you to basically attack the uh, the boss right now throughout the uh, the fight itself there are moments where you may catch aggro here and there and he's gonna do a you know like he's gonna throw either poison at you or something i think he does it here to me uh in a matter of yeah is he gonna do it over here yeah see this this one to avoid all you gotta do is pretty much like roll back uh again if you're far enough from him He's gonna miss you with his attacks. The only one that I'm having a hard time dodging is this one right here when he basically, uh, I guess, destroys the ground. I don't know what, else, what, what how you could call that, but that's the hardest one I have. So having uh, a good amount of hit points on yourself would be a, a smart strategy. Again, as you can see, the mimic is so powerful that uh, the first phase he hardly took any damage while standing underneath the boss. Uh, same thing goes for the second phase. It always takes him a few seconds for him to get aggro. Now, as you see, once he gets aggro, he stands there in the lava, right underneath the boss, and just basically uh, gets the aggro, right? And as you see, he's doing a lot of damage. And again, you're you're just basically uh, getting free shots. Now, fortunately for me, while I was doing this, a lot of times I was actually missing him because I wasn't standing too close to him. Uh, you have to have sometimes, uh, you have to basically put yourself in the right angle sometimes to hit with this weapon. Um, so yeah, there are going to be moments, of course, where you could grab aggro, you know, but for the most most part, as long as your mimic is at least level 5, uh, not to worry, he will be uh, the tank of the uh, the fight for, for pretty much 90% of it. Of course, there's a little weapon thing that he does over here that I think he's going to hit me soon, um, which um, he does two swings. They're actually easy to avoid. Unfortunately, I'm, I'm, I didn't avoid this one because I was trying to hit him. But as you can see, uh, the second one, it's easy to avoid, just gotta roll over it, right? Uh, you could probably even jump or, or whatsoever, who knows. Uh, either way, as you can see, if this is uh, if you have a hard time with this boss, go ahead, make sure you have that mimic. If you don't know how to get that mimic, I have a video uh, that shows you exactly uh, how to get it. It's very simple. And uh, again, level it to level 5, and you got yourself a uh, unbeatable tank, pretty much. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, and I wish you guys the best of luck. Have a good day, guys. Bye-bye.